A reunion is underway in the capital two years after hundreds of police officers cleared protesters out of the downtown core, protesters who had refused to leave. Caitlin Wilson joining us live now. What's planned to mark the end of the Freedom Convoy? Caitlin? Graham, unlike what we saw two years ago, organizers say this weekend's event will be filled with speeches and music, calling it a day of remembrance fueled by optimism. Two years after police removed protesters from Parliament Hill, the so-called freedom movement is coming back to mark the two-year anniversary. It's a hollow victory for us. And it's a hollow victory for us because of what had occurred. The reunion comes after a recent federal court decision that found the use of the Emergencies Act to clear protesters was unreasonable and infringed on their charter rights. Organizers now say they want an apology from the government. People's lives have been disrupted, maybe changed forever, all for their right to fight for the freedoms that we have in this country. The Emergencies Act was invoked after thousands took over the streets around Parliament Hill, many opposing COVID-19 restrictions, blocking roads with big rig trucks and other vehicles for weeks. A public inquiry arrived at a different conclusion that the government was justified in using the Emergencies Act. We're trying to reach out and, and talk to as many Canadians as possible. Mm -hmm. So um, if people have concerns, you know, come talk to someone. The Ottawa Police Service says it's been in contact with organizers and has a plan in place to deal with any demonstrations and to ensure public safety. Organizers insist there will be no vehicles used as part of the gathering or loudspeakers during the march. Still, some are skeptical about the return. I think celebrations themselves are beautiful. Um, I'm not enthusiastic about reliving it. We saw weeks go by before we saw the cops there at all. It was just shocking, the whole thing. A class action lawsuit is currently underway, made up of residents who claim they suffered from the noise and disruption caused two years ago. Created a lot of reverberations that we're still experiencing today. Uh, a lot of strong feelings from, you know, across the country. And um, we're, we're still kind of dealing with, uh, you know, the fallout from that. Hundreds are expected to gather on the Hill Saturday, expressing a laundry list of issues in what it describes as government overreach. And the event kicks off on Parliament Hill at 11 a.m. and includes a march through downtown. The route is still being finalized, so residents are encouraged to check the city's website and social media for any road closures. Graham? All right, Caitlin, what about that pending class action lawsuit? Where does that stand now? While it's still very much alive, Graham, lawyers for the plaintiff, downtown Ottawa residents say they're pushing ahead and there's a lot of money at stake. There's five and a half million dollars raised online by protesters, which was seized and frozen during the court process. If the plaintiffs win, that money will go to them. But the case is a long way from actually getting in front of a judge. Graham. All right. CTV's Caitlin Wilson, live for us tonight. Thanks.